So, Miles, you played your first AFL final on Friday night. How'd you find it? Yeah, it was pretty nerve-wracking, but very exciting. I think we played a really strong game and, um, yeah, really showed what we can bring. And I think the last few weeks we've been building and we're ready for a big hit out next week. Were there many nerves on, on your side of things before the game? Did you have any sort of junior finals or anything you could draw on before to sort of get you ready for, for the step up? Um, I mean, I did play a couple of junior finals, but that doesn't compare to this. So um, I think it's a new experience and um, just had to soak it in and um, go with punches and um, take advice from the older boys. You played games with, with no crowds, with small crowds, home games, away games. How did the, the atmosphere of, of 20,000 at Adelaide Oval compare to other games you've played so far? Definitely felt a lot more than that. Um, I think all the fans were really excited and, um, yeah, um, really up and about. So the atmosphere felt like a full crowd and um, I was just grateful to have a, um, a crowd there because um, in the past, yeah, we haven't been able to play with crowds. So thankful for that. It feels like uh, your game this year has really sort of developed as you've, you've you know, come through playing your first game up until now and looking really at home at, at half back there. How have you sort of felt your season's gone and, and how ready did you feel to play a final? Um, yeah, I definitely felt a lot more comfortable um, throughout the year and I'm ready to go for this final. Um, it's a pretty exciting time building up and um, once the game started, I was pretty nervous, but once the cobwebs are out, you um, feel pretty comfortable and the support from the team really helps as well. Last year, you got to sort of uh, observe the, the couple of finals the boys played from, from the outside, but now you're on the inside. How, how does that compare? Yeah, definitely. Um, even from the outside, you still feel a part of it, part of the club. And this year, it's been pretty tough with um, COVID. We've had to separate it a little bit from the non-selected boys, but um, we try and keep in contact and um, keep one big group. So, um, yeah, it's still a great um, honour and um, I treasure it. Qualified for the buyer before the preliminary final. We've got some time off to, to rest up and get the bodies right. Is What's the sort of plan, do you think, for you guys to get that balance between um, getting the time off and then also staying ready to play in a couple of weeks' time? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we've had a big couple of weeks, so having a bit of time off will be really good, but making sure that we don't relax too much and we still um, crack into what we have to do and look after our bodies and get ready for the week ahead. On the weekend, we'd be watching the Doggies Lions game, and is there any preference for who you'd like to play? Well, I mean, they're both great teams, um, and we've lost to both of them, but we've also beaten the Doggies as well. I think if we play our best footy, we can beat either team, so um, I'll definitely be watching. Um, but I think we just play our best footy, and it doesn't matter who we come up against.